Hey, good morning. This is Pastor John, uh, and this is the weekly uh, moments of meditation and prayer. Uh, I don't know how this finds you today, but I'm going to quickly just give you a little bit of an update on uh, how I'm feeling, and maybe it's similar to how you're feeling. Uh, I am seeing illness numbers that are, uh, if nothing else, the same, maybe even worse than they've been. Uh, so I'm hearing words like spike, and uh, we're thinking more about what will happen in the coming weeks again. Uh, news is beginning to trickle in to me about uh, school years here in Stowe and around the area and for my boys. And the effect that all this is having is that uh, I would say uh, into the new year this past year, I had a, a sort of orientation. I had a sort of perspective on who I was and and, and what I knew and how I thought life worked. Initially, when all of this stuff came and it was unprecedented and it changed things, it really shocked me into uh, moving away from that perspective that I had and that orientation. And now I find myself, the longer this goes on, feeling like I'm being rewired or reoriented towards a world that will never go back to that other thing. And this process of being re-perspective or re-oriented uh, is, is uh, you know, tire, tiring. And, uh, so, so, you know, this midweek thing is a moment to remember that while everything around us is changing, God's faithfulness is the same. And so this is a moment to take out to read this upcoming Sunday psalm. It's the 145th psalm. And then to join together in prayer. Uh, it's a moment to reflect on where we're at in the world around us and to try to ask God to enter into that place. A reading from the 145th Psalm. This is the reading for the uh, fifth Sunday of Pentecost in the year that we're in, year A of the lectionary. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and your glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his words and gracious in all his deeds. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for a beautiful day. We come before you as a people who have been worn down and worn out and who are still being fed what I would call bad news or disheartening news. We ask that you would indeed remind us that your faithfulness is from generation to generation and that it does not waver. I ask that you would be mindful of how worn out we are and how hard it is to have our perspective and our ideas and our orientation shifted to a new place and that that process is ongoing and that we're worn out. We ask for a reminder that no matter how worn out we are, you are indeed there. May we hear it in the birds and, and, and feel it in the beauty of this day that you're with us. May you encourage us and build us in strength, guide us through the rest of this day and into our nights, that you would guide us through this week and that all through all that we face, we would be reminded of your faithfulness and that it isn't about our power or our strength or our perseverance, but it's about your spirit who gives us these things. We ask that you would guide us and keep us and allow you and your voice to break into our day and into our world so that we may hear you and be heartened and feel energy in a world that feels tired. We thank you for your faithfulness and we ask that you would keep us. We ask all of this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope that this does find you in the middle of a week uh, and does strengthen you and help give you uh, courage for the days ahead. Uh, 
I would also remind you that while we may not be gathering in our building, we are still the church and we are still God's people filled with God's spirit. I would invite you to you know, be in touch with people and share the peace. And in sharing peace together, may you hear a voice of God's encouragement and God's guidance. I would uh, invite you to get in touch if you feel like you would like to talk about uh, being worn out or uh, all the things that you face or any of that sort of thing. And I would remind you uh, that God is indeed faithful and keeps us uh, throughout all of our days. And that while we're being reoriented, uh, all of that is only a reorientation back to God's hope and God's purpose for us. I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you enjoy how beautiful it is and that you uh, stay safe and that you take good care of each other and yourselves. See you soon.